Welcome to this informative session on tackling interview questions. Today we're focusing on the question, how do you adjust to new work environments? This question might seem simple on the surface, but it's a golden opportunity to showcase your adaptability and flexibility. Two key traits that employers are always on the hunt for. Why is this question so important, you ask? Picture this. You're an employer and you've got two equally qualified candidates, but one of them has proven experience in adapting to new environments and thriving under change. Who would you pick? Exactly. This question is your chance to stand out from the crowd to show that you're not just capable, but also adaptable. Interviewers use this question to assess how well you cope with change, how you approach new situations, and how quickly you can get up to speed in an unfamiliar environment. Now that we understand why this question is so crucial, let's dive into how to answer it effectively. The question, how do you adjust to new work environments, is not just about your adaptability, it's also about your ability to handle change, work in a team and learn new processes quickly. Employers want to know if you can hit the ground running and seamlessly integrate into their team. They're looking for signs of resilience, flexibility, and a positive attitude towards change. But remember, this question might come in different forms. Variations could include how do you adapt to new situations, or tell me about a time when you had to adjust to a significant change at work. These versions aim to uncover the same core traits, so don't be thrown off by the phrasing. So what's the takeaway? It's simple. When you hear this question or its variations, know that the interviewer is probing for your adaptability, team spirit, and quick learning capability. Understanding the purpose and variations of the question will help you craft a compelling response. But what should that response include? A successful response to this question should showcase your adaptability, learning capability, and teamwork skills. Now let's break it down. Firstly, uh, your response should include specific examples. You see, examples provide evidence of your skills in action, making your claims more believable. For instance, you could talk about a time you quickly learned a new software or adapted to a sudden change in a project's direction. Secondly, the quality of your examples matters. A good response might be, at my previous job, I was thrown into a project halfway through, I quickly learned the ropes and even proposed a few improvements that were implemented. On the other hand, a bad response might be, I just do my best to fit in and do my job. The former shows initiative and adaptability, while the latter lacks specificity and doesn't demonstrate problem-solving skills. Remember, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. Confidence and authenticity are key. We've covered a lot today, so let's quickly summarize the key points. Remember the question, how do you adjust to new work environments, is far from a casual conversation filler. It serves a significant purpose in the eyes of your potential employer. They're testing your adaptability, your ability to thrive in new situations, and how you handle change, all critical factors in today's ever-evolving workplace. The variations of this question can be numerous. Tell me about a time you adapted to a significant change at work, or how do you handle new challenges are just a couple of examples. Yet they all boil down to the same core inquiry. How do you fare when thrown into unfamiliar waters? In responding, remember to include key elements that showcase your adaptability, demonstrate your willingness to learn, your ability to collaborate with diverse teams, and your knack for problem solving. Use specific examples from your past experiences to illustrate these points. Did you once learn a new software suite in record time? Or perhaps you've successfully navigated a project with a multicultural team? These are the stories that make your response tangible and relatable. However, the content of your response is just one side of the coin. The other side is your delivery. Remember, confidence is key. Your tone, your body language, and your words should all convey the same message, I am equipped to handle change. Now, let's talk about what not to do. Avoid vague or generic responses. Saying I adjust well without substantiation is a missed opportunity to showcase your skills and experiences. Your potential employer wants to know how you adjust, not just that you do. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but with preparation and understanding, you can tackle this question and leave a lasting impression. So. Go out there and ace your next job interview. Thank you for watching. If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? 
comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.